What is up y'all? Welcome to this YouTube video. I'm with my brother Nathan here. He came over and we have connected and had such a profoundly deep conversation and we felt called to put the camera up to record, talk about nature, talk about whatever our soul wants to talk about. Welcome brother. It's always a pleasure when we're able to to get together. Mm -hmm. uh, I look forward to these moments and I, I always look forward to getting out in your nature preserve man. Sitting here and just kind of imagining just you know meditating just for for hours really just just sitting here and that's barely been a big theme in my life lately just taking time to just be you know we get so wrapped up in doing and doing and doing and i've noticed the more that i just allow myself to be the more all the things that i think i have to try so hard to do they just they just flow naturally to me i'm, I'm glad yeah. we're here brother me too brother beautifully sad and just when you walk into this nature preserve you can just feel the essence the energy, the purity, the moment, instantly it gets you into the present moment because there is that life around you. You know, I'm so grateful because I do do that a lot. I'm just coming out here and sitting, not even with a specific intention of just being, being like nature, just being in the presence of a coexisting energy of consciousness that is all working together, that you tap into, that is so inspiring. And you know, it's, to really be able to help heal this land and to do the work here, it is one of the most fulfilling things and I'm so excited even on this channel to really show you all the depth of this place and what I've done because it is very very inspiring and it has helped this ecosystem rebound into a healthy native biodiverse landscape that is helping heal mother earth and also helping heal myself because there is that connection because we are nature yeah it literally it, like I've never seen so much life like all in one place like, like literally even like being out when we were in the smoky mountains i mean granted yeah, yeah. The, the winter like different seasons and stuff but just being in this environment like you can not just the the physical things like you know all of the they're called stag snags snags <laughs> not yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a deer yeah. um all the snags that you've put up and like all the different kind of infrastructure that you've created to to support the life but even just the the energy of it like the the intention behind it and you know a lot of times we think of there's nature and then there's human beings. And, you know, logically we can kind of draw the conclusion of, oh yeah, we are extensions of nature. Like we, we come from nature, but when you really like sit with it and you realize like we are nature, it's not like human or human species and then there's nature. It's like humans, we are nature. And I forget where, it might have been Gene Keys uh, by Richard Rudd, just to kind of, you know, give you a resource there. But I forget where I heard this specifically, but it was talking about how human beings are essentially an evolutionary product of nature, by nature, for nature, to ultimately know itself. Like we are fundamentally, we are nature's eyes, because we can look out and we can see. And we know we are nature's here ears. You know we can hear the environment, we can, and we can hear what's going on, and we can sens sensationally feel what is going on. And it is through that that you know it, it's kind of this double-edged sword. Because as I was saying with the natives, it's like you can take that power of sensing and of being able to feel and see, and you can be stewards of the land. You can work with nature, with that which you are a part of or you can continue to uphold the illusion that you are separate because you have that choice and again it's not like this right wrong good or bad but you have that choice you can choose to see yourself as separate and once you start to objectify things you know it's easy like if you see that tree is just a piece of wood that can be used for building things and for creating fires and that's all it is to you it's very easy to just yeah. cut down that tree 100 percent. if you see that tree is this like living being this conscious being that is supporting other life and that is a life form in itself that's not to say that you still don't choose to cut down the tree but it, it it gives you a little bit of perspective of the actions that you are choosing to take and i think you know a lot of the message that you preach with healing nature and just being stewards of the land it's, it's not so much of this like i have to kind of force myself yeah to take these additional actions that aren't natural to me to try to you know heal the land it's just a natural extension of who you are yeah. like Absolutely. like when i witness you and your element it's yeah. not like you're trying to like go out of your way it's just you're just being you because you have that innate sensation that 
I'm just helping myself. Mm -hmm. Like if you see a dear friend sure. that is like in need, you're just like, you, do you sit back and just watch them, them suffer? Or do you, you know, try to help out in some way because you see that friend as somebody that is just an extension of you in connection yeah. with you. And having that pure, real, authentic connection, man, it'll help your life. It really will because we have lost that connection to nature at that deep level as a humanity, as a whole. And I think in this awakening process, it's hand in hand in coming back to nature. It's hand in hand in recognizing ourself in nature. And like I say a lot, when you connect to nature authentically, then you begin to authentically connect to the nature of yourself. Mm -hmm. And that is what is needed right now, is recognizing your true essence in nature as you are a part of it all, which is a deep, beautiful knowing that'll give you that connection, compassion, love for yourself and other beings, because you will see the connectedness. You know, we're having this conversation and it's almost like, like nature like mother nature is like calling us back like literally her children calling us back to her just like like, like a mother like yeah. you know if you're if your child you see your child suffering you see your child you know making decisions that you know are harming yourself and the the nature around it like even even your own your own mother and that's it's just beautiful like when we were out in the smoky yeah. mountains it was this very visceral sense of like the unconditional love of a mother because yeah. again if you want to cut a tree down she says yes if you want to you know cut down a whole ecosystem to to build a bunch of houses and like plant you know lawns and, and non-native species that eventually just like take over the whole landscape nature she says yes it's that, it's that unconditional love while at the same time through that unconditional love when we find ourselves in this place where we do feel that disconnection now yeah and we do feel that anxiety now that like constant angst of like what am i here for like wh how what is my purpose in this life and there's that gentle pull of again you can do what you want it's like you can continue to go down the same path you can you know you got anxiety you go to the doctor you get some kind of medication and you just continue to do the things that you've always done again it's not a, a judgment or right wrong good or bad you have that free will to make that choice but she's always there just beckoning you to really come back to yourself as you were saying yeah. just come back to yourself and it's just funny you know when i whenever i find myself like I have deeper questions and or I'm trying to solve some like bigger uh, challenge in business or life or whatever I, I can sit there you know in my house and like in my little studio and sit there and think for hours and hours and hours and like feel like I'm not getting anywhere and then it's like I go on a hike and it's like boom it's right there yeah. it just it just clicks and having that alignment like every single day in the morning I get out here many times it's for a long time but I always make sure I have to be out here for 10 minutes and it's not even I have to it's I just yeah, find myself always wanting to and just before I start my day I come out here and I just either sit or I just walk my paths and it is a pure present moment bliss of not on my phone not thinking as in past thoughts future thoughts it's just what's right in front of me oh Downy Woodpecker oh hey Robin how you guys doing oh there's a chipmunk oh he just emerged he's been sleeping like in those little moments they mean the world to me in the way of it grounds me for the day it grounds me to this human experience it gives me that space mm -hmm. to feel just free to feel just in the moment in real life nature which is powerful and yet we can have that wherever we live and yet our neighborhoods could be filled with life and connection and community and what's so beautiful is when we really understand that deeper role of nature and what it needs to be and how we can coexist with it. And we start honoring nature and taking care of nature and making sure nature is healthy. And then we deep down start to adopt the understanding of that coexisting within our own species. We start to learn through nature that diversity is important. So then we start to understand diversity of each other is important, but yet still having the foundation of we're all one. And it is a, we can learn so much from nature. Because if you're someone that has kind of felt lost, that has felt a longing for maybe something deeper, that has felt you don't really know why you're here, but you then know that there's something you, you're here to do, but you just can't really get 
the clarity on it or you're feeling very just kind of depressed or you're feeling lost or you're feeling anxious, please find space to get out into nature. And if you go out into nature, preferably in this moment by yourself, and you, if you have a local nature trail or you know of a really good park near you or even just a woodland or a school with an area, start creating this space to just get out in nature and sit with yourself, maybe bring a journal but just sit with yourself and maybe it's time for you to feel the emotions you need to feel, to face the things you need to face. But the beautiful thing is, is when you're out in nature, like you said, you're in this unconditional loving space. And I promise you that is the work and connection that will change your life, that you will be feeling. You know, it's easy to read things or watch things or hear things, but the true growth and understanding of who you are comes from experiencing it. When you're out in nature and you're with the intention to allow yourself to let go and experience it, it'll change your life and it'll heal you at a deep level and it'll reconnect you to who you really are. And that right there will change your life. And if we all do that, it'll change humanity. It's beautiful, brother. And I'll just close by just saying something I feel called to share that has been a constant reminder for me. And that is, you are already everything that you are trying to be. And the journey is the way. The journey is the way. Blessings, y'all. I'll see you on the next one.